Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can convert between degrees and radians on the Casio FX83 GTX ClassWiz calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the menu setup key that looks like this located here, the option key that looks like this, located here below the shift key. The fraction key, that looks like this, located here below the option key. And the times 10 to the power of x key with the shift function of pi, that looks like this, located here. Let's say we were given this value here, pi over 4 in radians, and wanted to convert that to degrees. To do that, we would first want to set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So for that, this would be degrees. If we look at our calculator right now, we see an R at the top of the screen. That tells us our calculator is in radian mode. So we want to change that to degrees mode. To do this, we press shift and then the menu setup key and then choose number two, angle unit. We want our result in degrees, so we press number 1 for degree. And now we see a D at the top of our screen, letting us know we're in degrees mode. Next, we can enter our pi over 4. Since this is a fraction, we'll use the fraction key. Place pi in the top box by pressing shift times 10 to the x with the shift function of pi. There we go. Scroll down enter our 4, and then scroll to the right. There we go. Now we need to tell our calculator this is radians. So to do that we press the option key, select number 2, angle unit, and here we see number 1, the degree symbol, number 2, the radian symbol, and number 3, the gradian symbol. So since what we entered was radians, we select number 2. There we go, we now have pi over 4 radians in degree mode, and if we press equals, we see we get a result of 45. So pi over 4 radians is the same as 45 degrees. If we look at another example, let's keep it simple with just pi. We can enter that with shift times 10 to the x, there's our pi, and then we press option, 2 for angle units, and then 2 again for radians to let our calculator know this is a radian. We're in degrees mode and press equals, and we see we get 180. So pi radians is the same as 180 degrees. What if we have the degrees and want to convert that to the radians? Well, first thing, again, we set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So for this example, it would be radians. We press Shift, Menu, select number 2, Angle Units, and then number 2 for radians. And now we see an R at the top of our screen, letting us know we're in radians mode. Now we can enter our 45 degrees, press option, 2 for angle unit, and then these are degrees, so we press number 1 for the degree symbol. Now we press equals, and we see we get a result of 1 over 4 pi, which is the same as pi over 4. If we want to prove that to ourselves, we can enter pi over 4 with the fractions, so fraction, pi over 4, press equals, and there we go. It's just a different way of writing the same thing. And if we add 180 degrees and wanted to convert that to radians, we do the same thing, enter the 180, 
press Option, Angle Units, tell our calculator this is a degree, so number one, there we go, 180 degrees equals pi. Yep, that checks out. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.